Well, for more on what to expect from Alibaba, let's bring in Emily Parker, author of Now I Know Who My Comrades Are, Voices from the Internet Underground. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Now, when you look at where Alibaba started and where the world culture that Jack Ma fostered, you look at this company and you wonder, is it in danger of losing what made it so successful by expanding in so many different directions? That's a very interesting question. I think that Alibaba, everything that it's doing all follows a certain theme. It's, you know, it is an e-commerce company, but now it's venturing into cloud and it's growing quite dynamically in cloud computing. And, you know, cloud computing is the future of retail. So e-commerce and cloud and, and all these different businesses actually are related. And in terms of Alibaba venturing into Hollywood and working on entertainment, that also makes sense because so much of what Alibaba is trying to do right now, I think, is alert the world that China is a really incredible market for global products. Well, let's start by breaking down some of this. Let's look at the growth sure. of Alibaba's cloud business, as you mentioned. What's mm -hmm. the end game here? The end game, I think, for Alibaba is just to become a, a leader in cloud, and that seems to be the direction in which they're heading. They're already the official um, cloud services provider for the Olympics, and they have data centers in the United States. And as you just mentioned, they have doubled their data capacity in Hong Kong. So I think, you know, again, as a company that's known for e-commerce, having a strong cloud capacity only helps them make their e-commerce transactions stronger and faster and more reliable. Now, we also know that Alibaba is carving its path in the entertainment and culture sectors. The entertainment arm of Alibaba plans to invest $7.2 billion over the next three years. How successful mm -hmm. has the company been so far? I think that it's a little bit too soon to tell. I think it's a very, very interesting trend. I mean, Alibaba, for example, is partnering with Steven Spielberg um, to co-produce and co-finance production. So I think it's quite interesting because Alibaba is clearly getting into the content business, but they're also helping Hollywood gain access to the Chinese market, which I think, as we all know, for Hollywood, this is becoming an increasingly important goal because China is such an important market for film. And as we look at the brand, we're also seeing this transition from Alibaba being branded as an e-commerce company, as you mentioned, to more of a data company. What's mm -hmm. the strategy there? Well, again, I think that they're not really that separate. Because if you look at, for example, Singles Day, when Alibaba is processing an incredible amount of transactions per minute, you know, having a strong cloud capacity is only going to help them become a more reliable e-commerce provider. Now, e-commerce is what Alibaba is best known for, but what other promising businesses of Alibaba should we be on the lookout for? Well, as you've mentioned, you know, they're really, they're really all over the place. They're, they're getting more involved in content and entertainment. Um, they also have a very strong presence now in sports, Ali Sports. Um, they are, you know, that's, that's a major investment for them, and they're, they're doing everything from, for example, trying to get more interest in rugby in China. They're investing in, 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 in rugby in China. So they're really, they're really all across the board. Now, what about some of the headwinds that they may come up against? What do you see as some potential challenges? I think one of their big challenges is going to be breaking into the U.S. market. I, you know, I, I, what, what Alibaba is trying to do right now, which I think is quite interesting, is that they are trying to convince American businesses that China is a great market and that Alibaba is the ideal platform for them to sell to that market, and that makes a lot of sense. But I think, you know, the challenge will be educating small businesses, small and medium-sized businesses about what Alibaba can offer and encouraging them to actually use the platform because I think small and medium-sized businesses in the United States aren't necessarily thinking about e-commerce to China. I think they should be, but they're not all of them are there yet. Now, obviously, it's not just the U.S. that Alibaba is interested in. So in terms of Alibaba's global expansion plans, mm -hmm. where do you see them focusing? Well, you know, they're, they've already made a huge investment in Southeast Asia. Um, that's obviously, a, a, you know, a really important uh, place for them. But again, it's it, my, you know, granted, I'm speaking here from the United States, but, it, it, you know, they met, Jack Ma met with Donald Trump, President Trump, and they, he talked about creating one million jobs in the United States. So it does seem like the United States is a big part of their master plan. All right, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us. Author Emily Parker.